So I'm home and we had Jace caring for the puppies and she did an awesome job. I was only gone from like 9 o'clock Saturday morning till 4.30 Sunday night and boy, what fun great results we did have at the show. And look at them, I just put this all down from them. It's this kind of thing too that since I'm their mom, no one else knows about. You can have the world's greatest nannies, but ultimately you do feel pressure to come home and do, you know, extra stuff. And again, I can't complain because my God, Jason and Lexi are both amazing in terms of their integrity and honesty and all that. And Lexi, she's more a little bit like me where she's more, say, really knows about the dog development and stuff too. And Jace is so learning about it, but it's things like this. They didn't have these toys down. They had their other toys, but these are like their high stimulation toys. And also I got to tell it the one little thing is, I think this is probably brand new, but it's this kind of thing that I have to watch for. They chewed off a little bit of something that Al put to, put to prevent them from getting at the molding, and we don't want that because if they get at that, um, it's really bad because uh, something like that could just poke them or something. It's wire, so it's dangerous. But look at them. Oh, a little easy there. Hello, Mr. Fantastic. You're a little angel. Everybody's so good, but... Anyway, you guys, I'm excited to tell you that we had incredible results at the show. Uh, so first most incredible result is Asher got best of breed both days, which I'm thrilled. And a bunch of people again came up to me from other breeds and really congratulated me, which made me feel good since I'm kind of a pariah right now in our own breed. But anyway, um, that was awesome. And then uh, what else? Um, oh, then the main thing is Luckett finished his championship to which I was just so thrilled and happy. Uh, he, Ruby finished him too, which was really fun because Ruby, the professional handler of Janelle, who's awesome, and I are the ones who have gotten all 15 of his points combined and Ruby did these last two all by herself. Now look, you guys, you'll notice a little more legginess in the puppies right now. And this is just where they start going through that little bit of awkward phase. And probably by week 10, they'll look amazing again. That's what's funny is I noticed that, um, to me, it's always been the odd-numbered weeks that the puppies look a little bit doggy. I mean, they're glorious, of course, but they just start looking a little doggier. And then they start really growing into themselves. I look back at Asher, and he looked just like Steve the other day with, like, kind of bigger ears and a lot of wrinkles um and uh but look at them they're still amazing and i'm so proud of them and i knew you guys would all want a video because here we are at eight weeks heading into um well it's just really the eighth week next friday it'll be oh the ninth week okay easy up kids and everybody's going to amazing homes and oh my gosh you guys I have another one of my A++ homes that I actually think may be uh, gonna be the next home for Mr. Fantastic and uh, if you guys are listening I don't think it's gonna be um, you guys Sean and Clarice this time even though I know Sean probably wants it to be but we're gonna wait for somebody for Daisy probably for them but yeah it's exciting I'll be able to unveil we'll know at some point but uh, either way I'm confident and it'd be fine to be just left with Darian for a while I'll let her grow up a little bit and take her to some of the shows uh, and find her a home just as soon as we can but hopefully a show home be easy 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 maniacs they're going at it they having too much fun I'm gonna let everybody out again and walk individually so who's a lively bunch I'm gonna take them out right now I think they're ready for it even though it's like 97 degrees still at like 5 30 um all right see you later everyone